Dear friends, welcome back! In this video we are going to build this Wi-Fi weather forecast display. It is a very useful and very easy project to build, so without any further delay, let's get started. Hey guys, I am Nick and welcome to Educates TV, a channel that is all about do-it-yourself electronics projects. If you don't want to miss any videos, subscribe to the channel by clicking on this button. In this video, we are going to see how to build this weather forecast display. It uses a Wemos D1 mini board along with a 1.8 inch color TFT screen to display the weather forecast. I also designed and 3D printed an enclosure for this project using wood filament. I got the inspiration for this Art Deco style enclosure from an old radio. The project connects to the internet and downloads the weather forecast for my location and displays it on the screen. The project only displays the weather icon, the temperature and the time of the prediction because I wanted a minimal look for this project. Of course, you can easily add more information if you wish. Now, let's see how to build this project. The parts needed in order to build this project are the following, a Wemos D1 mini board, a 1.8 inch color TFT display and some wires. The cost of the project is very low, it is around $12. You can find the links for all the parts in the description below. We also need an enclosure for this project. If you like the Art Deco enclosure I designed for this project, you can download it from Thingiverse. I have posted the link for the enclosure files in the description of the video as well. Now let's connect all the parts together. I used a small breadboard in order to build a prototype for the hardware and develop the code. In case you are not familiar with it, the Wemos D1 mini board is a fantastic new board which uses the ESP8266 chip. It costs around $6 and it is 17 times faster than an Arduino Uno, it has a huge amount of memory and it can be programmed using the Arduino IDE. The display is one of my favorite displays for Arduino. It uses the SPI interface, so in order to connect it with Arduino, we need 8 wires. VCC goes to 5 volts on the Wemos D1 Mini. Ground goes to ground. CS pin is connected to digital pin 2. Reset pin is connected to digital pin 4. A0 goes to digital pin 3. SDA pin goes to digital pin 7, SCK pin goes to digital pin 5, and the last pin to the 3.3V output of the Wemos D1 mini port. Now, after powering up the project, we can see that after a few seconds the weather is displayed on the screen. The next step is to 3D print the enclosure. I designed this enclosure using Fusion 360 free software and I am going to 3D print it using wood filament. I am going to use Form Futura's Easy Wood Coconut Filament. I have to say that this filament is by far my favorite. It looks and feels great. The enclosure consists of three parts and it took me a few hours to print it, but the result was fantastic. After the print was over, I sanded the parts and polished them using wood varnish. The end result is impressive. Since I am very new to 3D printing, my technique for polishing the 3D print may not be ideal, but the end result is really great. I waited a few hours for the varnish to dry and then I attached the display to the front piece with some tape and soldered the wires to the Wemos D1 mini port. I then connected the wires to the screen. After testing the circuit again to be sure that everything is working as expected, it was time to glue the Wemos D1 mini board in place. Unfortunately, the design was not perfect and the parts didn't fit in the enclosure for an error of a couple millimeters, so I had to make some modifications to the design the hard way. The 3D files that I have uploaded are the correct ones after the modifications were transferred to the 3D design. Then I powered up the project, centered the display before attaching it permanently with hot glue. It was then time to glue a small piece of fabric on the front piece in order to add some color and contrast to the enclosure. The last step was to glue all the parts together. Our project is ready. Impressive, isn't it? I really like the shape and the feel of the enclosure. It makes an ordinary weather station to look unique. Let's now see the software side of the project. The project downloads the weather forecast from the openweathermap.org website. In order to parse the weather data, we need the excellent Arduino JSON library. We also need two libraries for the display. You can find links for all the libraries in the description of the video below. 
Let's see the code now. At first we have to set the SSID and the password of our Wi-Fi network. Next we have to enter the free API key from openweathermap.org website. In order to create your own API key you have to sign up in the website. Getting current weather data and forecast is free, but the website offers more options if you are willing to pay some money. Next we have to find the ID of our location. Find your location and copy the ID which can be found in the URL of your location. Then enter your city's ID in the city ID variable. The last step is to enter your time zone in order the project to display the correct time. Now we are ready to move on. At first we connect to the Wi-Fi network, then we request data from the server. I only request one result, the weather forecast for the next 3 hours. You can easily modify the code to get more forecast results if you wish. We get a reply with the weather data in JSON format. Before sending the data to the JSON library, I manually delete some characters that were causing me problems. Then the JSON library takes over and we can easily save the data that we need in variables. We have to take a look at the structure of the JSON data that the Open Weather Map website replies to see how to get the data we are interested in. After we have saved the data in variables, all we have to do is to display them in the screen and wait for 30 minutes before requesting new data from the server. We display the time of the weather prediction, the temperature and the weather icon. The weather icons consist of some bitmap graphics and some simple shapes. You can watch a detailed tutorial I have prepared on how to load custom bitmap graphics on Arduino by clicking on the card here. I have also prepared a version of the code which displays the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. As always, you can find the code of the project in a link in the description of the video. As you can see, with the technology now available, we can build impressive projects easily and with very low cost. This project is a clear demonstration of this. It costs less than $50. Of course, we can add many things to this project in order to improve it. We can add a speaker and make it an MP3 player. We can add an FM radio receiver and turn it into a vintage radio and many more things. I would love to hear your opinion about this project. Do you have any ideas on how to improve this project? Please post your thoughts and ideas below. 